The question is focal planar forces act at point O as shown in the figure below. Determine their resultant force. Okay, so here we've been given this scenario, and the first step in order for us to determine the resultant um, force, we need to resolve all these into x and y components. So we resolve this into x and y component, even this one into x and y component, this one into x and y component. This is already in the x component. So in order for us to figure this out, we need to proceed as follows. Oh, okay, so we have how many forces? We have four forces. One, two, three, four. So, um, in order for us to find the resultant, we need to find the resultant of forces in Y, in X, and also the resultant forces in, in Y. And then the resultant force, which is the F net, the F net will be given by the square root of um, the summation of forces in x uh, squared plus the summation of forces in y uh, squared. Now, let us find the summation of forces in, in x and also the summation of forces in y. Okay. So here we begin, um, let us begin with the uh, 100, 100, so if this is 100 and this is 110, okay, so let's just try to make this line, okay. Okay, so this one is, it is the first quadrant, first quadrant, second quadrant, uh, then the third quadrant and the fourth quadrant. So in the first quadrant, we just have this um, 100 newtons um, in the first quadrant. Okay, so we can come up with a table, okay, force, x component and y component, okay. So... In this one, we have force, uh, so for 100 newtons, for 100 newtons. In the X component, we have, um, so using Sokatoa, Soka, Sokatoa, so this angle here, uh, for sine, it is going to be um, opposite over hypotenuse. So for sine, this one, it is going to be 100, um, 100 Newton sine uh, 45. And this one will be 100 Newtons cos um, 45. So in the X, we have 100, um, 100 cos 45. And in Y, we are going to have 100 sine 45. Okay, the second one, we have 110, 110 newtons. 110 newtons. So here, this is the second quadrant. In the second quadrant, the X component must be negative. So we are going to have a negative 110 cos, um, cos 30, yeah, this one. And in this one, it is positive. So we are going to have 110 sine 30. Let's come to 160, 160 newtons. So in the X component, we are going to have 160 um, cos 20. And in, this is the third quadrant. So in the third quadrant, both the sine, the, the, the cos and sine uh, are negatives. Okay, so here the 160 um sine 20 okay so this one is also negative and this one this one we have um, so this is the value for the component of this 
now in the x direction here for the force 180 180 newtons we have in the x component it is going this direction so we're going to have 180 um, 180 newtons just what of in the y direction in the y direction we just have zero okay so now we can um, resolve this into the respective components so we just delete this part or erase this part okay I, I rub. okay so now uh, here the summation of forces the summation of forces in x um, ah so we have 100 cos 45 degrees minus 110 um, cos 30 minus 160 cos 20 plus 180 okay so in the x the x component the value we are getting is negative negative 94 um 94.9 newtons in the x in the x uh, direction <clears throat> then we also have the summation of forces in y which should give us uh, so 100 sine 45 plus 110 sine 30 minus 160 sine 20 plus 0 and what we're getting there is 70.9 newtons so 70.9 newtons so from there we proceed now to find the resultant force by saying f net is equal to the square root of f summation of forces in x squared plus summation of forces in y squared so what we're going to have here is um the square root of negative 94.9 uh, squared plus 70.9 squared so when we punch on a calculator what we are going to have is 100 118 newtons as a resultant um, a resultant force now if we want here we can also find the direction but that one will be done in the next video thank you so much for watching